We interrupt this program for a trainer rematch. Last Dana on route 38. And I really hope she's raided her levels and like the one on route 34, the picker. So we got a side dog that's not good. Oh, level 29. I was about to say if it was still level like 17, well, I would have been rather pissed, but at least it's level 29. By the way, as I mentioned in my activity in my activity box uh, on my channel, my top rated video is the one with all the Chuck Norris jokes. This obviously tells you a lot about how much people like the guy, and yeah, Chuck Norris jokes are pretty fun. So, Ampharos, I guess uh, I am going to be able to kill it in one shot with Sir. I mean, it has more defense than most other electrics, but I should still do just fine. No! What? Thunder, no! Okay, Thunder Wave missed? I've seen stuff like Growl and Tail Whip miss before in this LP, but Thunder Wave? What is going on? It was supposed to have 100 accuracy. Oh well, I'm going to see you tomorrow, I guess. Good morning, everyone! And something I wanted to point out about this little area where I got the Moonstone at the end of the last video, um, there is absolutely nothing else of interest here in Gold, Silver, Crystal, but in Hard Gold and Soul Silver, there's a cave in that area, and inside the cave, there's a whole lot of nothing. But if you come here during the 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 Celebi event, you're going to fight Giovanni in the in that cave, and he's got an Edo King, an Edo Queen. Uh, Kangaskhan and also a Honchkrow, because since he's a Mafia Lord, he obviously needs to have a Mafia Pimp Crow on his team. Alright, so now we're going to get out of the Tojo Falls and into Route 27 proper. And Route 27, well, it's got grass, it's got water, but the highlight is that it's got a lot of trainers. Same for Route 26, by the way, it's a rather long path, so we're going to be fighting a lot of trainers before we even get to Victory Road. And yeah, I get it, I get it. My Pokémon love me, I am a god to them! And, okay, so I got the Sandstorm TM, but seriously, I thought there were other NPCs that checked out my Pokémon's happiness. How many, how many of them are there in this game? Well, not that it matters, at least she gave me something instead of, you know, say, just saying, Oh, your Pokémon like you, not bad, come back another time. And this is trainer number one of that endless string of trainers I mentioned, and... Yeah, as you probably know, well, you certainly do know it, there are no trainers at all in Victory Road in this game. I'm wondering if they did it that way because you, uh, because you need to fight so many of them just to get to Victory Road, unlike in Red, Blue, and Yellow where the path is relatively clear, you just have to show your badges one at a time, which can get really annoying after the fifth or sixth one. Yeah, you're just like, I get the point, I got a, a, all, a, all a badges, can I get to Victory Road already? Well, here they check your badges all at once, which is a huge improvement. But yeah, as I said, I'm wondering if they didn't uh, put any trainers in Victory Road because, because you have to fight so many of them to get there to begin with. Still, that sucks. Victory Road should be the ultimate challenge, and the fact that there are no trainers, and there are pretty much no puzzles either, they took everything away from uh, uh, from red, blue, and yellow. Well, it's just sort of annoying. All you got is some wild Pokémon and silver at the end. Oh, here we got a trainer who's got an explanation for why she's not evolving her Pokémon. Yeah, evolved forms also learn moves later on. I wonder if her Bulbasaur knew moves at level 32 that Ivysaur and Venusaur could not have gotten at that kind of level. But I guess we'll never know since I made quick work of her. Would have been nice to know though, I'm really curious. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna load the game just to check it out though. You you saw me completely trounce her, and it's all that matters really. Anyway, remember all those videos ago when I claimed my Lotic was unobtainable in Hard Gold and Soul Silver? Well, as it turns out, Daisy's massage in uh, Pallet Town increased beauty, 
So that's your way of evolving sea bass into Milotic. And well, you don't have to harvest berries uh, or anything like that. And I think I'm not sure, but I think the that the, the beauty gain is flat. So no matter the nature, you're probably going to be able to evolve your sea bass if it uh, if it's beautiful enough. Because as you may or may not know. Well, uh, a sea bass with a uh, nature that lowers special attack is going to be much harder to evolve. And again, maybe I mentioned that earlier on, but it doesn't hurt to repeat it, just in case you wonder. I, I had a sea bass, I maxed out its, its beauty, well, sort of, and it still didn't evolve. So, there you got your explanation, it doesn't have a good enough nature. Yeah, sorry I had that little hesitation here, it's because, well, I remember that Quagsire doesn't have water absorbed yet, so I could just murder it with Surf like I did with everything else. Anyway, I've been asked a lot of questions about uh, an eventual Pokemon Emerald LP, and while I'm, not, I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to make it, but if I'm going to make it, there is something that no one asked, but that you might still be interested to know. It's because uh, on my plan team, I have a Milotic. Well, speaking of Milotic, I have one on my plan team. And the thing is that there aren't very many berries that can evolve it. The Pam Tree Berry is the best, but you can only obtain one after you beat the Elite Four, which is naturally kind of late, especially since the, the post-game in, in Generation 3 isn't nearly as bulky as it is in Generation 2. And uh, the next best choice would be a wiki berry. And there's a girl that hands out berries. Oh, we got a phone call here. I got an extremely rare Pokemon. Hey, hey, hey. I'm keeping it a secret yet. Hey, hey, did, did, it, did, it, did he just say that Farfetch isn't rare? Well, I can sort of understand in this game, but in every other game, it's actually kind of rare. So if it's not rare enough, to, to bother catching, then what the hell is? You don't need to have something as rare as a legendary in order to have some trading value. And here I'm talking about, you know, the in-game characters, not us the players, because any non-legendary and Kione as well, though I do count it as a non-legendary, so it's a moot mo point, anything that can breathe doesn't really have value because you can just get so many of them to begin with. But, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, wiki berries. Yeah, there's a girl on Route 120 that gives you berries depending on your trainer ID. And if your trainer ID ends in 1 or 6, you get a wiki berry. But if your trainer ID ends with anything else, you're going to get uh, other berries. She gives you berries 11 through 15, wiki is number 12. So yeah, I would need a trainer ID to uh, that finishes in 1 or 6 in order to get wiki berries. So what I am going to do is that I'm going to restart the game over and over and over again until I get a suitable trainer ID. Because else there's it's going to be very, very difficult to evolve uh, a fee bass otherwise unless it's got a nature that boosts special attack, but I would rather not count on that to be honest. And on top of that, I'm planning on breathing uh, a fee bass because I want to have hypnosis on it since I'm planning uh, my Lotic to be my sleeper. So what I think I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a breathing chain that's going to start with Spinda and that's going to eventually end with uh, with fee bass. I haven't memorized the everything I, I was going to go through, but I do remember that it's going to start with a, with a Spinda. And yes, I realized that I just found a use for a Spinda. I gotta say, it's going to be awkward catching a Spinda because I really need it, because why else would I really need a Spinda? Then again, I I caught a Farfetch in this game for the purposes of being an HM slave, so I guess the precedent is here. Okay, I'm out of time, so I'm going to save this video, and I will be right back.